Hi, I'm Chris Blackburn. I'm Brian Costello. I'm David Herring. I'm Setha Yim. And I'm Clarence Yu. And we will be showing you the TE connectivity demo for how the OCP NIC 3.0 interface is enabling forward compatibility. The availability of resources is becoming more prominent for our system designs. These trends include an increase of PCIe lanes that are available from a CPU, as well as technology enabling higher data rates for these attached resources. These trends promote a healthy ecosystem. The combination of these trends and ecosystem are able to nurture new technologies for systems at a rapid pace. A key enabler for attachment of these technologies is to simplify design decisions. The OCP NIC 3.0 is a form factor enabling our community and created through the collaboration by our community. Also within the industry has been the establishment of the connector defined within SFF TA1002. These two specifications have created a successful union that will foster new technologies for generations of today and the foreseen future and beyond. TE's SFF TA1002 connector is simple and elegant. The 0.6 millimeter high density interface saves on PCB real estate and enables shorter board traces due to its compact size. It is scalable to support multiple signal counts. It handles by four, by eight, by 16 and more, all within a common interface, not to mention the capability to support asymmetry for supported protocols. Resource utilization is critical for any design so that no lanes are left stranded. This connector supports upplugging and downplugging for ultimate interoperability of all link widths. All connector orientations are available so that every system design is supported. Our SFF TA1002 connector system is capable of supporting next gen performance as well as future generations. Within a given system are a variety of form factors and interfaces. We have add-in card devices, memory devices, cabling interconnect, and storage devices. Each of these may come with a different interface and a different design rule and performance criteria that may limit system workload options based on the limitations of the interface and the physical size of each of the technologies assigned to each form factor and is limited to each independent interface. This creates a scenario of hard design choices. Now there is an interface that is common across add-in card devices, memory devices, cabling, and storage devices. Our SFF TA1002 interface may have common design rules, common testing and validation, and has known performance so that it may enable a system design to support multiple workload options while enabling new technology intercepts without redesign. Plus, it may now enable some new technologies to apply to multiple form factor types. Now we have easy design choices. Forward compatibility not only addresses the technology needs for performance and density, but should also enable commonality across a large ecosystem of form factors supported by industry leading technology companies. These companies bring innovative technology every day across a platform. These technologies include storage SSDs by the way of EDSFF, internal cabling, advanced memory, OCP NIC 3.0, and PECFF add-in cards. Technologies originating with one of these form factors may now easily cross-pollinate with other form factors, providing a broader reach for each new technology with a simplified design decision of a common interface and healthy ecosystem. EDSFF defines multiple form factors, the E1S, the E1L, and the E3. All of these standard form factors are supported within the industry and have publicly available SFF specifications. 
Each of these form factors also utilizes a common interface. This demo shows how that common interface enables interoperability regardless of the link width. In order to take advantage of all signaling resources that are native to certain silicon, some system packaging strategies may take advantage of cabling to extend the reach of a signal passively, or enable workload flexibility from a supporting hardware perspective, making for a flexible system package with multiple device connectivity options. This sliver cable enables this flexibility. As we continue to look through the Sliver Sandbox demo, it will show us how advanced or future memory technologies and form factors may also be enabled. The PECFF form factor originated from efforts within the Gen Z consortium and will soon become available as the SFFTA 1021 specification. Many systems are used to supporting the volume metric of a traditional PCIe add-in card. So the PECFF does not change the volume metric of the add-in card form factor, but does enhance it by leveraging the SFFTA1002 connector interface. This Sliver Sandbox also demonstrates the implementation of an OCP NIC 3.0 small form factor for a right angle host board connection. In addition, it will also show a straddle mount host board connection and how this form factor may be nested underneath other add-in card form factors while fitting nicely within a 1RU system. Thank you for watching. To learn more about these interconnect products and technologies, please visit the TE booth or reach out to a representative. Enjoy the virtual show and take care.